run. Greetings. Um, yeah, I really like to praise the Lord. Uh, it's one of those best uh, people that my parents heard the Lord's voice and their calling and um, received the Holy Spirit and spoke in tongues. If you hope the events of speaking in tongues and got baptised um, quite some time ago in the 80s, early start of the 80s. And that's when uh, my journey here in the uh, church began. It's a little four-year-old terrorising the house meetings, a little bit like Malia now. Um, but I had a wonderful experience receiving the Holy Spirit um, at an Easter camp in Christchurch um, when I was nearly 11. Um, yeah, it was really awesome. I was just praying with an elder and um, started speaking this language that I've heard quite for some time. Um, all those years, just hearing the spiritual gifts and my own, my own, my own parents praying. I don't remember had any troubles, and so yeah, I received the Holy Spirit. I just remember being super excited and knowing that I was part of uh, uh, being sealed and being part of God's family, and I had this uh, personal relationship with the Lord Jesus and, and God. So it was pretty choice, and got baptized a couple of days later in my uh, hyper yellow and fluoro shorts. That's the 90s, if you don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was pretty cool. Uh, from then, you know, the Lord's been pretty awesome in my life. You know, you go through troubles and trials, as He says, and you know, try and bring down on those things, but the Lord always pulls you up. But yeah, I've had wonderful experiences through high school, just having protection and healing and getting through all that stuff and, you know, had um, the wonderful uh, experience of moving to other centres in New Zealand and fellowshipping there. And um, one particularly just come to mind with um, Sean Raymond's, um, or Sean's uncle and, and Raymond's um, brother-in-law, he's got a brain tumour at the moment that we're praying for. Um, my mum also had the same experience when I was about 19, I was in Tepuki and got this phone call from my sister and she said that mum's nearly dead, um, just collapsed and gone to the hospital and you know it's pretty stressful and my, mom, my sister had been fellowshipping for a while, I said well, all you can do is pray in the spirit now Jim, like, we can't do anything here, doctors can try but we'll just pray in the spirit. So we prayed in the spirit together, which we probably hadn't done for a while uh, personally um, for her but it was good just to put it to the Lord and give it unto him and um, yeah and I was in Tepuki so there's a cook straight separating me getting down there and so I couldn't really be there with my mum but there's a lot of awesome little miraculous um, scenarios um, catching you know the, the tumour in time um, having the right surgeon who's one of the best in the country at that, that moment in Christchurch Hospital um, yeah, I think he even went past and saw mum's state and said, no, he's just got to go to the operating room now, like kind of style. So it's just pretty uh, um, amazing for me. And, and you know, my mum hadn't fellowship. No, she's still not fellowshipping, but you know, she's seen the Lord's hand in that situation and came through it. And it's just a really awesome time, you know, to know as a young person in the Lord that, uh, you know, just laid under Jesus' feet and uh, it takes care of those things. And, you know, mum's. Well, I won't tell her age, but same age as Pastor Mark, so I've got to ask him. <laughs> uh, um, but, you know, you know, I say to my mum, I say, you know, it's such an amazing blessing that you're yeah, still alive, breathing, we get to have time with her. And, uh, you know, there's still time and hope for her to come back to the, the family of God, and that's a pretty choice. Uh, recently, you know, my friend at work, she got burnt um, really bad on her arm, and there's a church where prayer. And um, yeah, she's just amazed that it's all healed up. She's got a wedding in a couple of weeks and she got burnt in the um, early start of December. And it just it was amazing the picture when it was burnt and that to now it's just about like clean, like, a bit like Naaman. And it's pretty amazing. So um, yeah, I just really like to praise the Lord. Uh, also uh, recently we've had Malia and um, compared to the other births, um, it was really blessed as well. And Charlotte won't mention this one, but I oh, will. Um, when, when I was in America with my dad, um, we were expecting another baby, um, this is before Malia, and um, uh, yeah, I was over in America having a good old time and hanging out with the saints at the youngest camp there, and um, but, uh, she had a miscarriage, and yeah, it's a, it's a comforting to know that the Holy Spirit, you know, I think you know, Pastor Brian and, and Phil Murray mentioned the recent trials, of, you know, the saints praying, and, it doesn't matter where you are, you can pray for that comfort and um, yeah, I had to give a little little message for the young people and I got the phone call just before then and it's pretty hard knowing that your wife's going through something and you can't be there but God's here with her and God's here with me and 
that was pretty choice, just um, in terms of that rest and, you know, like Pastor Sash has taught, we have the best life, you know. I was talking to Renee today, she said, how's your job? And I go, oh, I'm starting to be like the children of Israel. And, you know, I want to go back to the cucumbers. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, look, at you, look at my job. And I did pray when I got here in Wellington that I wanted a four-day. That's what I wanted. And I went to this job and I hated it straight away. And one of the brothers reminded me that, oh, I said, God, you prayed about it? And he, I said, yeah, I did pray about it. And he said, well, we enjoyed the blessing. So I, I suffered the blessing for four years. And, and now I've got a four-day, you know. Do get bored of and stuff, but you know, God just keeps on always delivering, and um, I just really like to praise the Lord for what He's done in my life, and you know, just keep rejoicing with all you guys until we don't have to have a Christmas camp and we're raining and rolling with them. Amen. Amen. Amen.